Hey guys, and today I'm going to come to you with another library swap. So let's get started. With that, um, the first book that I'm going to return and that I read was All It Is, um, a novel by James Salter. I did a review on this, I'll link that below. Um, yeah, I wasn't really all that impressed with James Salter. Just, it's all there is. That's kind of how I felt at the end of the book. But I don't think he was meant to be ironic with that name. The second one I read was Tombstone, the great Chinese family from 1958 to 1962 by Yang Jishen. Um, yeah, I really did enjoy this book. I feel that this book is a great example of the dangers of positive thinking as well as a look into um, the disastrous results of this political regime at this particular time in China. Um, I, I don't recommend this book for like people who really can't handle sad news. third one is Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. I really did enjoy this book. I thought I really, I don't know, I was really fascinated with the characters and the twist and the ending really did take me by surprise. I will definitely be reading more books by this author. And then the last one I read was other People's Money, The Inside the Housing Crisis and the Demise of the Greatest Real Estate Deal Ever Made by Charles B. Bagley. Um, I gave this, yeah, I, I like this book, but it did kind of overwhelm you with information, and because this topic is already very confusing and convoluted, it has a lot of information that you can't really make sense with, and you probably need a little bit more time just to, like, really try to dissect this. I mean, you probably have to, like, research as you're reading this book to really understand what's going on, but you do get the idea that things did not happen right. Here are the books that I'm going to return to the library. It's four books, so I'm going to head off to the library, and I can't wait to show you what I get. See you guys soon! I'm so tired! Yeah, it's working. I'm so tired, but anyway! back from the library after I went and I did had some lunch and then I saw someone from work and I was like hi and then they didn't recognize me and then I don't know if they didn't see me or just really engrossed but mm, I don't know if that was him I don't know like you wave hi and then they don't respond or even notice you and they're like is that that person so I'll have to confirm tomorrow if that was that person or else I just was like I don't know it's a random person I don't know who that is book swap for you! Let me just go through the books that I got. The first book I got was I Don't, A Contrary History of Marriage by Susan Squire. I'm interested. The Illumination by Kevin Brockmeyer. I forgot what this book was about, but I put it... Yeah, meh, 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 meh. And I'll, I'll read it and I'll tell you what it's about later. But right now I'm tired. I think I'm the first one from the library to get this. This is Equilateral. Yeah, you can't read it. <laughs> this is Equilateral by Ken Kalfas. Um, I think I'm the first one. This is really new. And this is about um, a scientist trying to communicate with aliens on Mars. So he has a plan to communicate to them clearly. Um, and But it goes into a different direction. That's what I heard. It's like it, The premise starts out like you think a regular sci-fi novel would, but then it kind of doesn't end up to be like a sci-fi novel. So, I'm interested to read this. I heard about this on NPR as well. The Anatomy of Violence, The Biological Roots of Crime by Adrian Rain. I also heard this guy be interviewed on NPR, and <clears throat> what he said was very, very interesting, and also it echoes what I've heard about this type of research before. And while he might not be saying universally, like, if you have a certain brain structure, you're going to become a psychopath or kill everyone, it, I think it kind of depends on what you already have up in your brain and then also how you were raised and if that tips the scales. So, I'm very interested to read this. And the last one doesn't have a cover, really, because my first thought was like, what the hell is this? Um, yeah, I don't really see a point of holding this up, but it's really, really old. This is from 19... 1906? I don't know, this is Book of Tea by... Kazuo Kara. Uh, Kazuo Kara. 
written in English by a Chinese scholar uh, about pretty much the philosophy behind tea. And I've been wanting to read this for a while because I'm really into tea. And I think this will... I, I just really want to read more tea stuff. These are the books that I've gotten from the library. So here they are. I've gotten five books. I turned in four, but I got five. Um, and I'm really excited about reading these. Hoping to get to these pretty soon. Um, you guys know all the other books that I'm reading, but yeah. Um, that's pretty much all I have for this book swap. I hope you have a, if, I hope you've had a great weekend. And I think uh, I was gonna say I'll see you guys soon, but that doesn't work. Mm, I'm so sleepy.